If you can't play an instrument, then you'll write better songs. People who play instruments are more likely to get distracted from the most important songwriting techniques. So in this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can write a song, even if you don't play an instrument. I'll also reveal how to do this quickly and easily with free tools and no music theory in sight. But don't panic if you do play an instrument, you can still use everything I teach in this video to write better songs. Welcome in, my name's Matt and on this channel I help people to write their first song. You're overthinking your songwriting. It's actually way simpler than most people make it. The best thing for a lot of songwriters is to go back to basics. Think about it. Why did you start writing songs in the first place? What made you want to do it? Answering these questions can help you to reset your approach. Songwriting should be fun and something you enjoy. It's not a competition to see who's the most skilled or the best at playing an instrument. Stop worrying about not being good enough and you'll be in the right mindset to write songs. Now that we're in a good headspace to songwrite without an instrument, it's time to think about what we can use to generate ideas. The first starting point is your voice. Are you able to sing or whistle a tune or melody? If so, you can use this as the seed for your song. Try and capture the idea on your phone so you don't forget it. Then you can play it back for further development or to start writing some lyrics for the tune. This is also useful for collaboration. Maybe you know someone who is a more experienced musician who can help you to take this idea and work it into a song. Or you can build up a few ideas and then see if you feel like some of them could be connected to create a full song. The other point to begin without any music is the lyrics. If you're into poetry or otherwise enjoy writing, then you have an advantage that many songwriters would be jealous of. So many start with the music and then have lyrics as an afterthought. But if you can approach a song from the lyrics first, then it will take on a completely different life. You can then go on to hum, sing or whistle a tune for the lyrics you've created if you want to start thinking about music. As before, keep a record of everything so you can refer to it later. Now we're going to want some music. But without an instrument or music theory knowledge, what are we going to do? This is where technology comes to the rescue. There are countless ways to generate music on a computer to the point where it can become a bit overwhelming. However, I found one free tool which is extremely helpful for beginners and also people who don't play instruments. It's called Hookpad. It's a musical sketchpad that allows you to create and store musical ideas. There's a link in the description to try Hookpad today. Hookpad has music theory built in and with a simple interface means you can start to build out your song without knowing how to play an instrument. I've got many videos on the channel that will walk you through Hookpad in more detail, but to get started, you just need to know that the bottom row is where you build up chords and then the grid above it is for melody notes. So first up, you can click on the chord section. You'll see that now you are presented with seven options to try out. The chords are labeled with Roman numerals, which are commonly used when writing and explaining chord progressions. You then click on the chords you want to add to your song and they will populate the bar below. You can try any of the seven chords available in any order you like and you can't really go wrong, but you will see several chord progressions feature again and again in popular music. Bolting a few of these together can get you most of the way towards a full song without an instrument in sight. Here are a few for you to try now. One, four, five, one. One, five, six, four. Two, five, one. Six, five, four, five. One, six, four, five. One, four, six, five. Then when you are happy with the chords, you can move on to trying out the melody. Click on the section above and you'll have seven notes to try out. Feel free to experiment with these notes over the various chords that you've chosen. If you want a simple tip for creating melodies, then use the notes in the underlying chords to shape your tunes. This is a technique that you'll find all over popular music. This is really easy to do in Hookpad. When you click on the melody grid, you'll see that some notes have a blue dot below them. These notes are contained in the chord. Use them in your melody and they will feel safe and harmonious. Use this knowledge to blend chord notes with non-chord notes. If you wrote the lyrics first, then the melody will be your next logical step. Try and match melody notes with the syllables of the words you have written. 
You can change the length of notes in Hookpad by clicking and dragging their edges. Experiment until you feel like the words could be sung to the melody. As well as being able to edit note lengths, you can also change chord duration in a similar way. These variations can transform even the simplest progression into something far more interesting. For example, here's a 1-4-6-5 progression with a simple melody and some rhythmic variation using the ideas discussed. Songs are made up of individual sections, such as chorus or verse. These are combined together to create a whole song in what is called a song structure. The lyrics of the chorus will normally repeat, whilst the verse lyrics will change. Try and write a few sections and see which one stands out the most to you. Use this as your chorus. If you're struggling, then have a listen to your favourite song. How is it constructed? Do certain parts repeat either lyrically or musically? Try and use this structure for your song. If you want to get a bit more advanced writing a song without an instrument, then you can try out a DAW. This is a digital audio workstation, which is just a fancy term for software that you create music in. There's a world of options out there from free to expensive. Personally, I use one called Ableton. It's particularly popular for electronic music, but also supports plugins and sounds that can be used in any genre. I'd recommend searching YouTube for tutorials if you're interested in this option, but it can be a great way to make music without instruments once you learn how to use it. Like all crafts, it just takes more practice to get better at songwriting. Finishing some simple songs to begin with is the best approach. Then you can further develop your ability to write songs. Even for people who can play an instrument, it's common to write away from the instrument like this. The separation can allow new and interesting ideas to be created and experimented with. Then they go back to the instrument to further develop the ideas or to record or perform the song. You can also use this approach for collaboration. If you know someone who's a musician, you can take your song idea to them and then work on how it will sound. The thing with modern music is it requires less knowledge of music to enter than ever before. This will continue to be the case with the advent of AI, which is able to construct songs based upon text prompts without any reference to technical terms. This breaks down barriers for people to express themselves with music, regardless of their ability. But it will never replace the creativity of humans, even if they can't play an instrument. Think of these tools like an aid to your creativity not a replacement of it. And if you're thinking that surely everyone who is successful in the music industry can play an instrument, then consider this. Many of the biggest artists in the world are unable to play an instrument. For example, Rihanna, Ozzy Osbourne and Michael Stipe can't play instruments. But this has not stopped them from performing and writing songs that people around the world love. So don't let your musical ability stop you from expressing yourself through song. The problem with being a new songwriter is a lack of support and guidance. I've shown you one tool that can help you, but there are several more you need to know in order to have a simple songwriting experience. I share four must-know beginner songwriting tools in the video on screen. Make sure you watch that next to turbocharge your creativity.